Hello, we're going to do a video today on replacing a bathtub spout. And here's the spout here. Here's the new one. It's about $22, I believe, in Canada I spent for this. It would be cheaper, except for this new spout has a diverter that you pull up to divert the water away from the spout here and up into the shower head. And that's actually what we want to replace on this. And uh, the rest of the video I'll show you why we're going to replace that. So the reason we're going to change this spout is because this diverter here isn't working properly. And what happens is, is when I pull it up, uh, a lot of the water will go up to the shower head, but not as much as what should go up there. And once I get this off, I'll show you why. I actually removed this spout at one point and soaked it in some uh, uh, cleanser to get the uh, chemicals that are, that are sticking on this portion off. That worked for a while, but it's happening again. So I'm going to show you here what's happening, hopefully without getting too much water outside. So I pull up this diverter, I got that shower head directed up there. So here's our water coming out of the shower head. But, you can see all the wasted water there that's not going up to the shower head. So that's because this diverter is gummed up inside with chemicals and that kind of thing. This house is on a well and it's, and it's eventually they'll wear anyway because you're always pushing them down, popping them up. And that's why we're going to replace this. And before you go too far with the job, what you really want to know is how the existing spout is secured to the water line. So if you look underneath on this particular unit, firstly, we'll see, here's our diverter. That's all gummed up. This house is on a well. It's not uh, city supply water. Then that's our issue there. All those chemicals have gummed up our diverter. But you'll also notice as you look down here, there should be some place where there's a set screw or something to tighten that spout on there, and there's not. So this is secured in a different method, and we're going to cover that in a minute here. So you want to read the instructions for your new bathtub spout and see what method they use to secure the spout to the half inch copper pipe. This particular one has a set screw down there and this little unit even supplies the Allen wrench with it that we'll use to tighten that set screw onto the copper pipe. Before we put the new spout on I just want to show you because it's really clear here. Here's our set screw so if we look at this end of the spout, this is where our half inch copper pipe is going to go on from our water supply. And this is how that wrench fits into the set screw there. And as we turn it, you can see that tightening up inside there. And that tightens on the pipe. So I just wanted to illustrate that before I actually put it on there so you'll know exactly what's happening. So this is the other common type of bathtub spout. Just like anything else I'll probably get a comment in the video that there's some other type but these are the two types that I've personally ran into and this style has way down at the end hopefully you can see that, the end of the spout it's threaded so this will go into place and turn like most other things that tighten you would turn it clockwise. Now the one thing you want to keep in mind with this type of spout is the other one we discussed will, will slide over the half inch uh, uh, copper pipe this one because it's a fixed length you have to, you, uh, if you end up with this style of uh, spout you want to measure the length of the pipe coming out of your top. Now this is the kind we're going to change so we'll, uh, I'll show you that later. So here's our existing spout. As we discussed there is no set screw underneath here 
So, you want to take, I'm going to take a wrench here. Ideally, I would have my big plumber's wrench, but I can't, I can't find that at the moment. So, I'm going to use a set of ice grips here and turn this, not getting too aggressive. Just turn it slowly. You start running into any real resistance, be careful, you don't want to damage that water supply thing. I'm just going to twist that around here. And, uh, and that's what you have. In this case, we have a piece of copper pipe that, let me get, move my camera here, that's threaded and our pipe, or this, sorry, this pipe here is what connects and our, as you just saw, our spout screwed onto that counterclockwise to remove it. Due to the fact that we have the threaded connection on the end of our pipe here where our spout is going on. We're going to want to clean that old plumber's tape off there. Wire brush or toothbrush. Get that old stuff off of there. And incidentally I mentioned earlier about the fact that if you have this style of spout, this is the measurement I was talking about that you're going to want to take here. And in the case of this one it's uh, four and three quarter inches and that's actually marked on the container for the new spout. So now I've got the old Teflon tape cleaned off and now we're just going to want to put a bit of new tape on there. Next step, take our new spout, just kind of move that around until we feel that touch the thread of the pipe, so it's on there now. And just keep turning that until it basically touches in here on the tub. I'm going to very carefully see now if I get that to that point that's really tight so I don't want to over tighten this I do want a pointing down obviously into the tub so right around there do a little test and now for the real test turn on the water Pull our diverter up. And see there's nothing coming out of the spout. And it's all coming out of the shower. The way it is supposed to. Nothing out of here. Unless we pop our diverter down. Okay, so as we discussed for our video here we used the type of spout that threaded onto the copper fitting. But if we had had the other type of spout, the slip on style that we discussed here with the set screw, basically we'd put some plumber's lubricant in a bit in there and a bit on the end of our pipe, the pipe that would be sticking out of the wall, and then we'd basically just push that onto the pipe like so. And then when, once the spout met, level my camera a little bit, once the spout was in against the wall there, pushed it onto our pipe, we just basically go underneath and tighten the set screw.